This is a slow motion uh, video presentation on metatarsalgia. Metatarsalgia is a general diagnosis that um, alludes to uh, pain and tenderness in the ball of the foot. So the metatarsal region or the ball of the foot is uh, right here. Um, during walking mechanics, we first strike uh, the ground with the heel. Uh, the impact pressures are uh, transmitted up through the leg. The ball of the foot or the metatarsal is the next uh, contact point in, uh, in line during walking. The metatarsal region as a general area accepts uh, load. Um, specific, specifically, you have five metatarsals, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth metatarsal. This patient has exhibited pain through the ball of the foot, and you can note callus areas in areas of increased pressure uh, as well as friction during walking. The reason why people develop metatarsalgia has a lot to do with the thickness of the tissues or the fatty pad in the ball of the foot. Um, also has a lot to do with ankle joint flexibility. People who exhibit a really tight calf muscle oftentimes during normal walking will actually show increased pressures through the ball of the foot. Treatment for people who have metatarsalgia really has a lot to do with adequate cushioning in, in the shoe, which is really important. But most importantly, using orthotics um, or an arch support, which is a tool to help decrease pressure through the ball of the foot by transmitting that pressure through the arch region. Callus um, is uh, represented because of increased pressure or friction in these areas. When we talk about treating people who have uh, metatarsal symptoms, um, what we really want to do is really reduce the pressure. Uh, in the ball of the foot during walking. And the very first thing that we think about, of course, is cushioning in the shoes. So shoe construction, including cushioning, is very important. Um, the amount of pressure reduction also uh, is dependent uh, upon the use of an orthotic. And an orthotic or an arch support transfers pressure or energy away from the ball of the foot and places that pressure in the relatively low uh, impact areas of the arch. Shoe selection is really critical uh, also in helping reduce pressures through the ball of the foot. Um, midsole cushioning is, is very important and this shoe has adequate midsole cushioning built into it. Um, what we're also looking at is the toe rocker. And the toe rocker really is the bending that occurs in the construction of the shoe beginning at the metatarsals. A shoe with an adequate toe rocker actually allows more of a rocking motion during walking and the rocking motion with this shoe, as well as the orthotic placed in the shoe, do a great job decreasing pressure through the ball of the foot. A condition-specific orthotic is essentially an orthotic with uh, modifications on, uh, uh, built into the orthotic that really help reduce pressure through the region of concern. Specifically, this is the second metatarsal. This condition-specific orthotic at Slow Motion Shoes has a uh, semi-rigid plastic material shell which contours the arch. It has a, a foam-based metatarsal pad that will reduce pressure uh, fairly evenly through the uh, ball of the foot. But it also has a recess underneath the second metatarsal. And what this material does is it actually increases pressure here as well as here, but floats or offloads this second metatarsal. This pressure reduction will go a long way to help relieve pain and the symptoms associated with uh, metatarsalgia in this uh, specific second metatarsal region. This orthotic um, is a condition-specific orthotic designed more specific to someone who has a generalized metatarsalgia through the ball of the foot or the metatarsal region. Um, here we have a semi-rigid plastic material or polypropylene shell which helps contour the arch. This decreases pressure through the ball of the foot. And the metatarsal bar, which is a foam-based uh, pad, also is designed to uh, place more pressure be just behind the metatarsals. This uh, orthotic has no specific padding or modifications to the ball of the foot because what we're really trying to do is reduce pressure um, off from the metatarsals by the use of this pad. 
This uh, is a condition-specific orthotic that is designed uh, more for people who have more diffuse uh, metatarsalgia. Um, this area, the area of concern involves the second, third, and fourth metatarsals. And what we've done with this orthotic, uh, which consists of a semi-rigid plastic uh, shell, is actually placed a metatarsal pad that will further decrease pressure through the ball of the foot, as well as added more cushioning in the form of a poron or a soft a foam cushion padding, which will also uh, decrease uh, pressure and improve comfort uh, with the use of this orthotic. To measure pressures during walking, we'll often use a um, study called the F-Scan. And an F-Scan is a way to measure dynamic pressures during walking from heel to toe. So the F-Scan is a, uh, a tool that will really determine how effective uh, an orthotic is at reducing the, the pressures through the ball of the foot. Um, this patient actually showed a significant reduction in um, the ball of foot or the metatarsal region pressure with the use of a, a condition-specific uh, orthotic uh, that had been uh, created for her.